I have it on good authority from a search committee that three kind of people come to AHA. People interviewing, people that are doing the interviewing, and people that want to be seen. And which and, category are and you book in? book reps, I guess. No, I'm, I'm in the uh, wandering pilgrim category, which is rather small. First time at AHA. An Islamic historian at AHA, I'm a stranger in a strange land. Stars, their goalie, got hit upside the head, went up into the mat, and cut the water. Water turco? Yes. Oh, what happened? It's okay. All right, good. Just look at me and ignore this camera. Okay. I'll Who are you? Steve Fountain. And where are you? And I'm uh, finishing a degree at UC Davis and teaching at Chico State University in California. And have you gone through uh, looking for a job? I'm in the process of looking at the list to see what else I might want to add and have a couple interviews here. And uh, I've got some interviews lined up. I've got a couple lined up and then uh, hoping for more, of course. So we'll, we'll see what happens. Does this seem like a hopeful uh, opportunity? Hopeful um, time? <laughs> half and half. Uh, depends on what letters you get what week. But uh, yeah, I, I think so. So far, it's, I'm, I'm at least hopeful myself. But uh, I, I don't know if it's a great job year uh, or a bad job year. So uh, I think ignorance is bliss at this point. <laughs> All right. Very good. Thank you. All right. Thanks. It's like the, the ship of the flying Dutch just circles back every couple of years to harass us and make us miserable. Okay. Um, you can look at me and ignore the camera. Who are you? I'm Kristen Lehner. I work at the Center for History and New Media as a research assistant. And that's at George Mason University. At George Mason University. That's important to remember yes, that. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Especially since it is George Mason University's History News Network. It, that is true. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I came across you. You're sitting at this table uh -huh. and you're promoting Zotero. What Zotero. is Zotero? Um, Zotero is a tool that you use in your Firefox web browser to collect bibliographic information as you're browsing on the internet. Um, and then you can make folders, store that bibliographic information, um, create tags for it so you can link up different references that you created. And it's really a research tool to use online. Um, I've seen that the tagline is, don't use uh, three by five cards anymore, use Zotero. Use Zotero, right. You can, as, as you collect sources, you can write notes about the sources and it's all stored in your web browser. And as people increasingly do research online, um, this I think will become very, very helpful. I've already started using it and like it a lot. You, you're using it? Well, yes. Yeah, I, I'm there. I'm at, <laughs> you know? We're at the making. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, wait, we should get a picture of this thing. What does this thing say? Zotero, that's Zotero. it. Zotero.org. All right. Thank you so much. How much are you able to get done? <laughs> what, are you, what are you knitting? Um, a scarf. A scarf? I learned specifically for this conference so that I'd have something to do while I'm sitting in the booth. <laughs> but I've got a lot done for just starting. Wow. You'll almost have one whole scarf done at this I convention. I think I will, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Two hours isn't enough. Yeah. Like yeah. So, yeah. so it stretches you as a teacher to, when you're teaching undergraduates. It's a very different approach from teaching over 65 lifelong learners, people like that who have who come. You talked about Chautauqua. And they very much come out of that tradition where they yeah. they look forward to sitting down for a couple of hours and listening to somebody lecture. I mean, you look at those Webster Hain debates. And, I mean, they were they were hours, days. <laughs> And people would pay attention to that. And we've actually got one of uh, Reagan's Star Wars speech. And it's a half hour. And I mean, he's got graphs and everything of Soviet missile capabilities and the whole bit. And it's just, it's amazing because, I mean, that was only 23 years ago. But you wonder, trying to do something like that now, 
to talk them through a very complicated policy process. Could How you do it right? on national TV? And would, would millions of people turn in like they used to? Probably not. Pouring a lot? What's that? Pouring a lot? I'm sorry? Pouring a lot? But, uh, Tell me about this display. What is this? You we are the site for online. It's a marketplace for used out of print rare antiquarian books. We have independent bookstores from all over the world, 4,000 of them, who list their inventory on our site. Over 25 million items. People can come over, they can search, they can browse by category, uh, they can search for a specific title, and uh, purchase it if, if they so choose. What's with these uh, gigantic... Uh are these uh, big sellers here? People are coming by. We are by giving them out for are you, free. You're giving them yes, away for this free. Is a, we are giving out. We find that it's useful for people with, who walk around purchasing books to put it in one bag and carry it around. That's so they don't have bag. to have to many of them to walk around. And also feel free to have some. We have some classical CDs. We try to give out things that people might find useful. How's that?